All right, 1021 right now. Identifying bug bites can be intimidating. There's mosquito, tick, flea-borne illnesses out there. We've been talking about West Nile being in the, in the headlines again on the rise. So to help us sort out fact from fiction and tell you what you need to know, I want you to say hello to physician assistant Kelsey Berger. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks I, for having I, me. You know what? Uh, I'm glad you're here because this is obviously prime time. Everyone's outside. Everyone's enjoying summer. Yep. But it seems to me the bugs are, are, are I don't want to say out of control, but they're worse this year, are they? They are a bit out of control, yes. Yeah. yeah. Is there a reason for that? I mean, it's not, is it the weather? Is it the rainy or spring? What, what, what gives? So I wish I had a definite answer for mm -hmm. you. I think the big reason that we're seeing so much over the summer is that people are at lakes, they're at their pools, mm -hmm. they're hanging out outside. So I think that's, the warmer weather is definitely drawing them the, in. The general stuff. But here's the thing, and, and, and at Hartford Healthcare, you've seen a lot of patients come in and yep. gone, hey, uh, what may be just a simple mosquito bite may be something worse. Exactly. So take us through how we figure out what's okay and what could be dangerous. So when an insect bites you or stings you, they're injecting the venom into your skin. So that's what your body's reacting and everybody reacts to this a little bit differently mm -hmm. but the things you want to look out for is if you have worsening swelling redness mm -hmm. streaking to the area fevers chills right yeah uh, so I mean so that that obviously would how quickly after does that happen that will say okay you've got to get to a doctor yeah so hopefully it doesn't happen right but if it would happen you would see it probably in the second to third day after the we bite. have a couple of pictures to show you and a couple a couple of things as well yeah. but first seeking medical attention if you are and this is this is more than just a common cold stuff. If you've got stuff like difficulty breathing, if you have a rapid heartbeat, blotchy, the blotchy rash that's starting to spread, yes. these are the telltale signs that you need to go to a doctor immediately. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. What we do have, I think, we have pictures of, of mild, mild cases, do we not? I think we're going to show those in just a second. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, there we go as we show you some video I mean look I've noticed again I've had some bites from from being at the beach a lot this summer yeah um, how do I know that this is going to be okay as opposed to the point where I say all right you know what within should, should that disappear after a certain amount of time so a normal bug bites gonna go away on its own mm -hmm. after one to two days mm -hmm. that's a normal time especially if you ice it elevate the extremity take some Benadryl it's gonna right. go away mm -hmm. but on if you, day two or three you're starting to notice worsening swelling redness or right. even fevers then that's something you should go there see a go. doctor for uh, what can you do as uh, the obvious things wear repellent it goes yes. without saying yes. and put it on your kids because if you think Absolutely. your kids are putting it on on themselves when they're going to camp they're not at least my no. kids aren't that's, <laughs> a, that's a that's a, a, a telltale sign also yes. make sure your screen doors and windows are, are, are not just working but that there are no uh, extra holes that they can that the bugs can be getting inside right absolutely right. no you're correct and then I uh, taking care of the bugs around the home in terms of uh, that you want to uh, use an exterminator, take care of yeah, tick, tick yes. repellents and whatnot? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tick is a big issue right mm -hmm. now in Connecticut, Lyme disease and the other tick-borne illnesses, Every, for sure. Everything uh, and then some to keep uh, keep you safe. How long of the season are we looking at before we can relax a little bit? Does it end with summer? Um, it should end with summer. However, Lyme disease, you really you can see it all year, sure. but as fall comes closer, it's definitely going to start dwindling to down. We have all these tips on our website at fox61.com. We'll get you uh, more information to get uh, in touch with Kelsey if you feel the need or if you're scratching too much and have some questions. Uh, Kelsey Berger, good tips. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate it.